Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back, Force here with some pretty awesome Overwatch news. Now, obviously, we just got the new map, Horizon Lunar Colony. Everyone's excited about that, but also equally exciting are some big hero balance changes. We saw some huge buffs for McCree and Reaper in this most recent PTR patch. So let's cover everything here. First off with McCree, Deadeye, targets now begin locking on after 0.2 seconds instead of 0.8 seconds, and damage accumulated over the first second is increased increase from 20 to 80 and then the damage after the first second that accumulation remains unchanged. So what this means in layman's terms is that McCree begins locking onto targets faster and the damage until their full dead eye and insta kill accumulates much more quickly. This is just a straight up buff to Deadeye. Deadeye is going to be much, much stronger once this PTR patch goes through. Now, with the developer comments, they said McCree's ultimate can deal a lot of damage, but it has, uh, it needs time to build up. It was often too difficult to do that, that these changes are going to make it more powerful. And yes, they are. Again, this is a straight up buff. A lot of those times in the past where you would start casting Deadeye, you would get shot and killed before you could finish the, uh, finish the cast time, finish locking onto targets. Now it's going to be so much more powerful. We're going to see a lot more use out of McCree's ultimate and it's just going to be in a much stronger position. Also in a much stronger position is Reaper. Reaper's passive has been changed. The health orb mechanic has been removed and now Reaper gains 20% of all damage done to heroes back as health. This is a tremendous buff. He is now constantly healing himself as long as he's attacking. This also fits so well with his playstyle. He wants to be up in the fray of battle attacking enemies, but the problem was he was so susceptible to getting worked down simply because of the fact that he could only ever self-heal after he killed a target. Now this makes it so that no matter who he's shooting, if he's shooting a tank or if he's shooting a squishy, all of the damage he's dealing is getting refunded back to him. He's now not going to need to rely on an enemy being completely killed to get some self-heal or going into wraith form to try to get away he can now much better sustain himself in the midst of combat in the middle of battle just by attacking it's going to make the reaper playstyle so much more aggressive and again his ability to stay into the fray has now been increased dramatically super happy with these changes now finally we got a change to roadhog this is a, a, a quite a big balance shift so, so first off a small buff his head hitbox size has been reduced by 20 percent that's obviously good it means that as a roadhog player it's gonna be harder for enemies to headshot you but he's gotten a damage output nerf scrap guns bullet damage has been decreased by 33 percent but his fire rate increased by 30 percent and his clip size changed from four to five all around what this is doing is making Roadhog do a little bit less bursty damage and a little bit more sustained. He's he's just going to be less bursty and this is also going to make his hook combo a lot less effective. I'm going to be really interested to see what this ends up changing for the his ability to his one shot potential. Even after they pass nerfs, Roadhog has still been able to one shot a majority of the heroes in Overwatch. So this is going to be an interesting balance. It might require more headshotting to be taken place. We're gonna have to wait and see to a lot of the testing goes out and people try this out on the various heroes. But I did just wanna let you know about these changes. So some pretty big balance changes to three heroes. McCree and Reaper both get straight up buffs. I'm, I'm very happy to see these two heroes. I, I feel as if they were fairly underrepresented, at least in the games that I have watched and played in recent months. These are two of the offense heroes that don't seem to get quite as much play time. So I'm, I, I will be very happy if we see an uptick in both of these and Roadhog's changes again they're they're big obviously he gets that nice little buff with the smaller head box but uh, his scrap gun what is this going to mean it's it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out so stay tuned as we go more in depth in the future and uh, detailed as to what this now means for the new Roadhog I'm sure you guys are going to see lots of threads lots of other videos coming up after this all right everybody thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this quick little recap of some of the PTR balance changes for McCree Reaper and Roadhog thank you all so much for watching Hope you have a good one, and until next time, I'll see you later.